Hello again, YouTubers, Facebookers, tweeters, human beings from all over the globe. Thank you for coming again. It is with great sadness that I come to you now with an added update to the radiation. Earlier when I gave my forecast, uh, I told you that the NILU site that forecasted radiation fallout was down and the information wasn't available. That information was true. Uh, it's now 2.33 a.m. West Coast time, uh, just before I wanted to lay down for the day. I checked my YouTube subscriptions and Dutch Sense had put up uh, this information as an emergency. Thank God for his work uh, and thank God that I saw this to extend his uh, information on to you. This is the NL, uh, NILU site. You'll see up here that it starts off with zardos.nilu and I wasn't aware until this video from Dutch Sense, which I will link you to. Uh, Zardos evidently is a futuristic man in a radiated world and something. Uh, so it's kind of odd that the site would be named after that. I don't know if it has any connection. Uh, I won't get into conspiracy theories. But what I will do is give you all a firm warning for your safety. What I'm about to show you are the levels of radiation, iodine, cesium, xenon gas that are actually here. Uh, these charts are more detailed. Uh, they seem to have better statistics than what I had forecasted before. Uh, we're in grave danger um, because of the radiation and the fallout and it is uh, a strike against humanity that the United States has stopped radiation monitoring. I call anyone who sees this video to call the White House, take any action through your local government that you think will help. I will post the White House contact number and fax number below in the details as well as the link to the site where you can review any of these charts. Now you'll see that there are many charts uh, most of the ones with the smaller kilobyte don't have a lot of information. I haven't gone through all of them. I've gone through enough of them to pull up the current levels of iodine, cesium, and xenon gas. I think what I show you now will not only scare the hell out of you, um, and it should. I'm not here to scare you, but a little bit of fear um, is also a tool to cause action to protect yourself and that is the reason at 2.30 in the morning I will be updating my blog and getting this information out to you. So I hope that uh, you'll not only appreciate that but that you will take measures to protect yourself. I'm not exhausting myself here it's just to give you a fun video to watch. I'm doing this so that you will spread the word, protect yourselves and your families and if you have a moment or an idea to contact any form of government and make a formal complaint, uh, we must demand that the United States not only start intense radiation monitoring, but they start intense monitoring of our food and make available resources that we will need to rid our bodies of this, protect ourselves from it. They need to set up a site that is available to all Americans uh, with this information and they probably have more detailed information than what we're seeing now but I think what we're seeing now will show you that this this is uh, it's a very bad situation folks um, we'll go on to some of the charts this is the cesium 137 you can see the actual time 2011 the fifth the, uh, this is for the 11th and the 12th if you remember or go back to any of the other videos that I've had, uh, the cesium-137 was only seen in little whispers and really didn't seem all that bad, although at the time I did tell you that the numbers being used were understated and that the charts were understated because they were based on figures first released from Fukushima that were understated. I have to think that these are at least more accurate because they show an influx in the amount that's coming over here. Uh, you can see this dark purple hitting Alaska, okay, in, in Canada 
All the, the uh, this is the the levels shown here have to be without doing exact math ten times worse than what I have been forecasting and the information that I had available at the time. Uh, this is a big deal. We must start protect ourselves. I'll go on to the next. This is iodine 131, which we, you know, everybody knows that this is very dangerous, especially to the thyroid. The charts say it all. We're being inundated with heavy, heavy concentrations of iodine 131, Canada especially, but also our west coast, our, the whole country is getting some, as you can see. And not only us, you can see that it continues on. So this is not just a United States issue, folks. This is a global issue, and I, I pray that all of you will share this information, uh, whether it's retweeting the link uh, to this or mirroring this and reloading it on your YouTube or however you can expand the number of people that see this. Please do uh, immediately. Uh, anyone that sees it tonight, I would expect if you're a human being, and you care about other human beings that you would take the few minutes like I have and at least repost this on your Facebook or on your Twitter. Um, this is urgent and our government is not doing anything about it. Actually they're doing everything they can to hide this information from us. Um, I don't know if this video will stay up very long. I'm going to put it on YouTube and then I will immediately put it on my blog as well and I will have the file recorded so it can't go away but it may be taken out of sight and if anybody notices that please contact me immediately through any of my contact information even if it's call me directly and let me know that it's been taken down so that I can repost it immediately uh, mirror this share this please people this is a very dangerous especially to our children with the levels that they are being subjected to if we don't take action they will not be able to reproduce they may have cancers and be dead by the time they're 30 and that's not fear mongering that's fact this is the levels in Japan now we have been told that you know Japan is safe and the winds are blowing away and that well you can see for yourself that the winds aren't blowing away winds don't just always go in one direction and now we have proof that more than half the island has been in inundated with heavy heavy levels of cesium-137. There's one more chart that I've pulled up. This is the xenon gas. Now this was the worst looking chart in the prior um, post that I put out. If you'll remember the xenon gas was the heaviest concentrations but it still was not a blanketed effect. You can see that if you're anywhere in the northern hemisphere you are taking in extremely high volumes of xenon gas. This, this information has been repressed from you people. As Americans, we should be abhorred and we should no longer trust anything that the government tells us. This, this is, there is no reason for this. I understand not wanting to scare people, but God damn it. People have to be responsible for their own actions. We cannot put everyone in the United States, Canada, Mexico, uh, the world in danger because a few may get upset, overreact, and cause a crime. We will have to deal with those people when they appear. But in the meantime, we are all breathing, eating, drinking radiation. And our government is hiding that from us. Now, for all you people that want to call anyone a conspiracy theorist, you can jam your heads up your asses because that's evidently where they've been for all these years when you believe the government. The government hid this information from you. The government put you and your children at risk by hiding this from you. So if you think that the NLE in the New Madrid or any other goddamn thing that the government is doing now is for your protection, you may want to think again you may want to look to alternate media and you damn well better share this information if you have relied on me for this information uh, I beg you to share this with your fellow humans the only way that we can protect ourselves is if we pass this information along we can't drive to each other and have conversations in person the only way we can effectively spread this is via the internet and I call out to all of you to do exactly that I don't mean for my aggression 
to insult any of you. So if you feel that way, I apologize now. But when my family, and you are part of that family, if you live on the planet Earth, as far as I'm concerned, you are part of my family. When my family is in danger because of someone else's actions, I do get very angry. And I not only just get angry, I take action. As some of you already know, uh, in some of the supports of other issues and causes that I, I've tried to help in the only way I can. Um, please, people, share this information. I will be uploading this to YouTube now and also putting it on my blog. Please, this information has to go viral, and our government has to be made to answer for these actions. We, we are covered. There is no escape. You are breathing xenon gas. We have no idea what this does to you, okay? Now, maybe xenon gas, even though it's radioactive, is per perfectly harmless. Do you believe that? If it was perfectly harmless, then why weren't we told that? Why weren't we given the statistics to prove that? And why was it removed? Why was this removed? Why, why are the Japanese being told that everything is fine because the wind's blowing away? When you can see clearly, when this moves around, that their entire country actually gets a taste of it. Every time the wind circles, the Japanese... That, that it's just horrible it's just horrible again the iodine 131 heavy the heaviest concentrations measurable are touching our west coast at times heavy concentrations over Canada and even into our midsection of our country all over the globe consistently please people share this information Sit down and have your personal conversations with God as you understand Him. Ask Him to reveal Himself. We're in those times spoken of in Re Revelations. Whether any of you want to believe that right now, I hope that some of the information I've put out there has started to wake some of you and, and realize there is a higher power. There is a reason we were warned of these things, and as humans we did not change our behavior. And now you have to make personal decisions to protect yourself and your family and ensure your longevity not just here on earth but when the new earth comes for those who trust in the Lord I I want to say good night to you all but it, it is not a good night when information like this is released please share this information God bless you all and thank you for your support